Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for the first Merck's Con Line. My name is Rayston Kivarik and I hail from the Veshot clan of Mississippi and Louisiana. Today I'll be presenting several brief electronic tutorials and the first one will be on fan circuits, so stay tuned. Okay, we're going to start this tutorial off by going over a couple of very common tools and uh, supplies that you'll need for pretty much any electrical project that you're working on. Um, not a necessity, but it is very handy. It does make for much cleaner uh, install projects, but a good soldering iron of some sort, you can doesn't have to have a soldering station like this, but uh, a soldering iron will definitely give you uh, better connections, stronger connections. Uh, so it's, it's definitely recommended, but not a total necessity. Uh, you also have handy wire strippers right here. Good for cutting the cables and wires and also stripping them, obviously. Uh, electrical tape you, you definitely want to insulate the wires somehow whether you use a you know a soldering iron or what but you're, you're going to want to use electrical tape uh, a helping hand of some sort uh, obviously because you only have so many hands and ways to hold things uh, this was a simple uh, printed object that i found on thingiverse very easy to use uh, but just makes it easier to hold on to different things while you're working on them especially if you're using a soldering iron uh, different things like switches, obviously, you're going to want to be able to turn these circuits on and off. So this is just a simple uh, two-prong switch, so a single pole, single throw switch. Um, wire, obviously. Normally you're going to be using red and black. Uh, red for the power, black for the ground, that's pretty common. Uh, you could use things like splice connectors, these are just little crimp connectors. Uh, a very handy thing to have is heat shrink tubing. Uh, these come in all different shapes uh, and diameters, just depend on the type of wire and the size of the wire you're using. So uh, all you do is cut you a little section, put it over a, you know, a, an open stretch of wire and heat it up with a, a lighter or, or a heat gun, anything like that. Um, depending on what you're doing, you're probably going to want some sort of power source. I mean, it could be anything from a, a USB uh, a portable charger uh, to a coin cell battery you know something like this uh, or even a larger a larger battery pack like this double-a pack right here um, there are other other tools and stuff that you can use but these are going to be pretty common and they're going to pretty much see you through whatever you're working on okay so right now we're going to go over how to make a simple fan circuit so uh, you can see here, I have a little squirrel cage fan. Pulled this out of an old helmet of mine. Uh, this is a five volt fan. You can get them in different uh, voltages and, and I do, I do uh, recommend that you're careful about which ones that you get uh, because you know if you get a, a 24 volt fan, obviously it's gonna be rated for more current. So most of your standard power supplies that you're gonna use inside of a helmet aren't gonna be able to push you know, the voltage needed to, to push that fan to its maximum capacity. So sticking with a five volt fan will make sure that it's blowing nice and strong. Um, it would, and, and depending on, you know, it'll, it'll match up better to, uh, to your various power supplies that we're going to talk about. So, you know, obviously we have your fan here, I have the uh, simple, uh, two prong switch here, very easy to wire up, just an on off toggle switch. Uh, right here I have a, uh, a double A battery pack. It holds four double A's. And I also have a USB uh, rechargeable uh, battery pack that, uh, you know, you can pick these up for next to nothing nowadays. Uh, they're small, they're rechargeable, uh, and, and they're just really, really handy. Uh, you can use them for all different sorts of projects. So uh, for this guide, we'll be going over both of them, but uh, for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and solder this up, but I do want to explain how this switch works to start with. Uh, in any circuit, basically coming from your power supply to your whatever it is that you're trying to power, you can go ahead and connect the grounds, right? Uh, the switch acts as a way to break the circuit. So when you hook this, these two wires up to the switch, uh, and you flip it to the off position where the circle is, uh, when you flip it to the off position, then it breaks the circuit. If you switch it to the on position, then it, it, it closes the circuit 
so that the power and the ground are both reaching the object and it's powered correctly. Uh, so it, there's a lot of a lot of confusion on how to wire up a switch, but that's really all there is to it. Uh, just hook it into the power cable like this, you know, one coming in, one going out, uh, and that'll take care of it. So I'll be right back. I'm going to get these soldered up, and we'll go from there. Okay, we're back with you. All right, so I have the switch wired up from the power supply, in between the power supply and the fan. You can see it's very simple. Uh, we just have the power supply coming in to the middle prong right here, this this one in the middle. Um, and then the, the other supplies go into the fan, and then obviously our ground is soldered together. Uh, in this, this case, I didn't do any kind of tape or, or uh, sh heat shrink tubing or anything like that, so just wanted you to be able to see the connections and how they work. Uh, this AA battery pack does have an on-off switch, but uh, you know, for the sake of the tutorial, I wanted to make sure to wire, show you how to wire up one of these toggle switches. So now that everything's wired up, we have batteries in the battery pack. It's as simple as flipping the switch. There you go. It's blowing great. That's it. That's all there is to it. Obviously, you know, in a lot of helmets uh, that you're gonna you're gonna have, you're gonna want. Uh, two helm you're gonna want two fans uh, because you want one on each side most likely or one in the front one in the back most people run more than just one fan but uh, it's as simple as just running you know splitting these wires into another fan so you've got the ground and the hot wire right here going to this fan and then split off going to another fan and it, as soon as you cut the switch on, they're both going to cut on. Obviously, you can wire up individual uh, fan circuits if you want, but uh, that is going to require um, that is going to require multiple power sources. So um, it's up to you. Um, yeah, uh, give me just a second. I will be right back. I'm going to wire the the USB rechargeable uh, battery pack up and show you how that works, and we'll go from there. All right, we're back. I have the USB rechargeable battery hooked up and it's all wired together. Uh, wired up the same way, you know, you've got your ground coming from the USB cable. And all I did is, and we all have a ton of these cables laying around, you know, find an old charger cable. Um, that's all you've got to do. I just, just uh, cut the jacket off, strip it off and you're going to be, you're going to have two wires. Um, and, and it's as simple as, you know, stripping the ends off of those and using it. Very easy, very easy. All right. Wired up the same way to the switch. We've got the, the positive coming from the battery pack going to the switch, going, in, going into the fan. And then we've got our ground going into the fan as well. So works the same way. Just flip it on. There we go. It's blowing great. Now the great thing, obviously, about this setup is that this battery is rechargeable. It doesn't ever have to be uh, removed or replaced. Uh, now, the caveat to these is they, these can use a lot of, uh, they, they can take a lot of juice. So, you know, even in a rechargeable setup, you're gonna want, there, there's, a, there's a balance between the size of the rechargeable battery and the milliamps that it can put out. Um, you know, this, these, the smaller they are, the, the shorter amount of time you're going to be able to use your fans before they have to re be recharged. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, these are so small though, that you could actually run one to each fan and, uh, and, and then just, you know, switch each fan on individually, um, making each fan last a little bit longer. Um, or if you're, if you're, if you have enough room in your in your bucket and you want to put a bigger rechargeable battery pack in there, then go for it by all means. Um, but yeah, it wires up just the same. You've got your toggle switch on and off. Good to go. Thank you for joining us. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned a little bit of something. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.